Numbers, numbers, and more numbers. Running any business today seems to revolve so much around numbers. It's probably a good thing, as not keeping track of your growth metrics often means that you stop developing, or at the very least develop in a wrong direction. <laughs> Let's talk about how Clerk.io's dashboards keep you informed on crucial aspects of your business. In this video, I will talk about how different tools measure success when showing performance in dashboards. You'll learn how Clerk.io tracks orders and measures impact on order line level across the detailed dashboards we provide. And lastly, I'll share four tips for using our dashboards to make well-informed decisions that help you grow. As an e-commerce business, you likely have access to a multitude of dashboards and insights. So keeping track of your business metrics can be quite daunting. When you start adding automation tools to the mix, the number of numbers, yes, that's a valid phrase, goes up further. It only makes sense to pay for an automation tool if it ends up generating more revenue than it costs in maintenance and subscription, which is why most tools have dedicated dashboards that visualizes your return on investment. The problem with most tools is how they define their success criteria. It's not uncommon for tools to take credit for an entire order's revenue, even if the customer only added one or two extra products through the tool. This means that it's hard for you to trust how much extra revenue you are actually making from the tool. At Clerk.io, we've taken a different approach. We truly believe in transparency and our dashboards reflect that. First, let's talk about tracking. We track all orders on your web shop and divide them into two groups. Those impacted by Clerk.io and organic orders where Clerk.io was not interacted with. We define this impact as the exact products that were clicked on and bought from a result shown by Clerk.io within the same session. In tracked orders, you can monitor these order lines for any purchase. If you want to cross-reference how we calculated the numbers, I will show you in a moment. With the associated labels, you can even see exactly where the products were bought from. Yes, this is nerdy and detailed data, but let's face it, it helps being a nerd when you run a business. Our dashboards consist of a main store-wide dashboard and individual insights for each Clerk.io tool you use. The main dashboard gives you the overview of the entire platform. This includes all the sales that have been tracked and how much of it has been impacted by Clerk.io. It also shows the estimated extra revenue generated and your increases in average order value, basket size and conversion rate. The individual dashboards give you insights into the performance of each tool's key aspects. Search Insights shows the revenue generated from people searching, but also which searches are most popular, most converting, and more importantly, which ones do not work as intended. This is a powerful dashboard for analyzing how your visitors interact with search in order to identify gaps in your catalog, potential issues in pricing, and much more. Recommendations Insights shows you the overall performance of every type of recommendations you use, measured by the amount of orders impacted, extra products added on average, and the average price of those products. More importantly, you can view performance for each individual banner you use. The ROI is measured as the amount of revenue a banner generates per time it's shown, compared to what you pay for it. Email Insights shows the performance of your embedded email recommendations and the automated emails you sent with Clerk.io. The top part is split into two numbers. Direct revenue, which is generated from orders where recipients clicked on and then bought the exact product shown by Clerk.io in an email. Extra revenue is generated after the recipient clicked on a Clerk.io result in an email and then proceeded to buy something else. It's called extra because the products shown by Clerk.io facilitated that the recipient went to the website, even though they didn't buy that exact product. Labels can then be used to check which emails perform best, so you can see which type of logics to focus more on. Lastly, you can use campaign tracking to get an idea of which emails the AI chooses to send when you use auto email. Audience Insights shows you the value of your main customer groups and also lets you see whether your marketing is working by monitoring the customer base growth. The customer analytics part of the dashboard lets you clearly see the expected value of any audience you create. This is incredibly valuable for choosing the right paid ads instead of, you know, using the spray and pray method. Let's look at four great examples of using these dashboards for improving your business. 
Some of the most important aspects of search insights is non-converting searches and no result searches. Because they can be used to identify gaps in your catalog, synonyms you've not thought of yet, and much more. Often, non-converting searches will tell you about interests that were not met correctly. For example, many customers might search for suit pants without buying, even though you have plenty of them and they're shown for the search. Using your industry knowledge, you might see that the main problem here is that your competitors have a wider array of available colors. Clicking on the term to narrow down the dashboard confirms this suspicion, as some customers have actually searched for green suit pants, which you don't currently have. You fix this by ordering that color and several other colors from your supplier and then run a campaign to market them. Then you see that some customers search for outfit trousers, which are words you've actually not thought of in your current product texts. By quickly adding a synonym, you've solved that problem forever. The label section in Recommendations Insights lets you identify which banners might be worth more exposure on your web shop. Checking the correlation between ROI and impressions is fantastic for this. Let's say that you're using visitor recommendations on your product page, but you use complementary products in your power step or add to basket step. While the complementary products have much fewer impressions, they generate four times the ROI and the average basket size is much higher. That means the products customers see there are more relevant, so updating the banner on the product page to show complementary products instead will increase your average basket size. Email Insights works much in the same way as Recommendations Insights as labels give you the overview of your marketing. You can use this to identify which emails should be sent more. For example, you might see that you're using hot products in four of your email flows, but they only generate half the revenue that your personalized recommendations do, even though they're only included in two flows. Switching up your flow so you focus more on personalized recommendations will give you more bang for your buck. Audience Insights is best used with the customer analytics feature that you can find under segment details. By comparing the possible revenue between audiences you create, you have a one-stop place to identify which paid ads to focus on. After all, there's no reason to spend thousands of euros on ads for products that your target group doesn't really care about. Start by creating a few audiences you want to compare. Let's say we want to find out whether we should pay for ads on books by Stephen King, E.L. James or Stephanie Meyer. Yeah, I know, just okay. Then use segment details to find the audience with the highest potential revenue and segment size. This is the segment that is most worth your ad spend. Go Stephen King. We often hear the argument that we can't prove whether some of the products added through an automation tool like Clerk.io would not have been added otherwise. It's a valid point, and it's true that if we look at just two orders, there's no way to determine which customer would have bought the same products without Clerk.io anyway. That's why we believe in showing aggregate results. To paraphrase the ever-brilliant Sir Arthur Conan Doyle speaking through the voice of Sherlock Holmes. While the individual order is an insoluble puzzle, in the aggregate it becomes a mathematical certainty. Individuals vary, but the percentages remain constant. Yeah, that was a bit pretentious, and I don't think Sherlock Holmes talked about e-commerce orders. Still, in essence, it means that if, for example, more than 100 orders with Clerk I.O. impact are 10% better on average, it's not random anymore its statistically significant, predictable behavior. It's no different than the significance derived from how Google Analytics measures conversion rate as the chance of a conversion per visitor. Through our fully transparent tracking, you can always monitor how we arrive at the numbers we do, and we highly encourage you to do so. This is Clerk.io's dashboard. To summarize, being able to trust external dashboards is important as you need to monitor your growth. Clerk.io is fully transparent and only takes credit for the exact order lines we help add to the cart. With a strong focus on statistical significance, you'll be able to see just how much your customers buy when they interact with Clerk.io. Each tool's unique dashboard allows you to identify what to fix next to continue growing. Whether it's adding new products to your catalog, fixing synonyms, focusing on different product logics, or finding the best segment to use your ad spend on. Ultimately, if you want to grow your business by working smarter, not harder, you need Clerk.io in your tech stack. It's the best way to attract, convert, and retain your customers. So what are you waiting for?